about a game. It's a red skin. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I am Topher. And if for those who don't know, just randomly decided to join us on this beautiful day in the month of February 2024, where we are celebrating Black History Month on the Drama Llama channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. And I figured since it was Black History Month, what better way to celebrate than to assemble some of the finest of the Black creators in the BL community that this world could ask for. Now, there are a couple who could not join us today, but that is okay, because we still got our Black Avengers assembling, nonetheless. So... Got the Black Avengers, I am Yes. Roll call. Roll call. Roll call. Hey. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll just go with the order I have here. Jordy. Hi. My name is Jordy C. I am a reactor content creator in the BL K pop space. And yeah, we're about to get blicky black in here. Yes. So. Malika. Hi, I'm Malika Chantal. I have my reaction channel. I react to anything you send my way. But y'all have me in the BL world, which is cool with me. I do a little K-pop here and there. And I'm just happy to be with all the greatest on YouTube right now. Yes. Shaggy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hold on, I need to. <laughs> That took me off. Okay. Hi. I come my prepared. Name is Jim, also known as Shaggy <laughs> on the YouTube. Uh yeah, y'all keep me in the BL space also. But yeah, I agree. Sometimes it's music, sometimes not. And yeah, we have a good old, good old, good old, good old time over here. So I'm happy yeah. to be here. And the one and only DC. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> wow. Um, Magical I mystical. That 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 the revelation got me a little tingly. <laughs> um, I'm DC, and right now I'm over on Films React, and we react to uh, BL series and things like that. Um, and then also we have YouTube, Patreon. Also, I run the Twitter space. I mean, now X, but his mama name is Twitter. I'm call him Twitter. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and. Uh, also, I do uh, watch parties over on uh, the Twitch at DC from DC. So, you know, it's just sometimes it's analysis, other times it's just like, ha ha, whatever, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> whatever I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you everyone again for joining us today. Um, originally, like there were topics and whatnot that we had planned for this discussion, and I had plans of expounding upon these topics that I sent these folks, and I just did not. Instead, I went to Las Vegas. I was like, okay, we'll figure it out when I get back. And well, I'm back. And Hi. So, hey. <laughs> what was the topic I sent you guys? We were going to explore how intersectional identities such as race, gender, and sexuality influence storytelling in the BL genre, which sounds like an amazing discussion topic. And we can still we can still do that. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like if we were to dive into that world, we must be we must have a, a, a guide. We must have a leader, a, 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 sh a Sherpa, a, a, a Yoda to guide us through this valley. And the only person I can think to lead this conversation um, is the one, the only, the magical, mystical um, DC Badu. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> I love, I love the Badu part. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> As you said in your content creator chat. Okay, so here's where my scholarly background comes in. And so I do have to 
I personally love definitions. Mm. So since you love and live by definitions, how would you, for our people at home, how would you define what you believe the intersectional identities are describing in this chat GPT generated discussion topic? <laughs> I, like for as oh my goodness this is gonna i don't want to okay so <laughs> first of all like we i have to remind myself i have to remind myself that identities are always culturally based and they're in a certain location and a certain time period and things like that just an example yes we are all black americans however like people from St. Louis <laughs> are different from people from DC. And then also we got Florida and you know, there's all these other, there's this, this diversification that happens in blackness. So looking at everything as a monolith um, is hard, especially when we talk about, oh, BL, it's like, it's across couple of different countries <laughs> with a different couple mm -hmm. of different histories mm -hmm. like um one of the things that i noticed and this one i want to say um i noticed that especially when i was watching a lot of thai bls well a couple of times it's a lot of high bls for me i started seeing um people from the african diaspora either they were half thai or they were like you know, immigrated there. There was um, Genta from um, Triage. There was this other guy who was in Why Me or Why Not Me or something like that. And then there was this other Black trans face in Three Will Be Free. So their identities are based on the story, but also they as being a different part of the African diaspora, they have their own unique identities that are playing in the story. Um, and I've seen interviews with, I've not seen interviews, I've read a couple of interviews from them and they talk about their specific um, experiences growing up as like a black person or a dark skinned person in Thai society, which some of it I can relate to, some of it I'm like, Nah, but that's the mm -hmm. way it is for the 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 difference and stuff. Um, so all of those things play through. Um, I don't know if that even answered your question, <laughs> but um, I I think that it's also important while they have that there and those um that part of the african diaspora is fighting for their movement and stuff like that and Thai bl in spaces south korea doesn't really have that same thing and then also um japan really doesn't have J japan really doesn't have that um so i think any way to really talk about that we have to split it up in countries um for different things because just saying oh yes all the bdl is fucked i'm like no you can't really <laughs> say that <laughs> um <laughs> it's it's it, it becomes problematic with that so um i don't know if i i just always go around in circles someone else take it <laughs> <laughs> no but i definitely agree with dc it's and sometimes i find myself having to take a step back because my experience as an American black person is not going to be the same experience as the, you know, black people that I see in Thai BL or any other like Asian media, because um, just to kind of tack on the list that DC was listing off, there's also James uh, Rusa McKee in who played K in Why Are You? Mm -hmm. There's also Susie, she's a really prominent black personality in Thailand. Um, there's Mike Pon, he's a director, more so in the scary horror movie genre. So his horror movies are really popular in Thailand. But mm. those people also have Thai as far as their culture that they have that they deal with every day. So their experience and sometimes how black people are portrayed in media, even though I might look at it sideways a little bit 
they might see it in a different way. So I, sometimes I find myself having to step back and be like, okay, what, how do they feel about this? Or how are they perceiving what's um, the perception of them in Thailand or in any other country? But yeah, so I think we just need to like, make sure we're being respectful of the people who are actually going through these things in other countries, uh, rather than kind of projecting our view as black people in other places onto them yeah that's definitely something especially early on in my bl reaction career <laughs> i guess we'll call it um that i had to just kind of consciously be aware of and people would remind me down in the comment section and at first it would kind of hit me like "Ooh, why are you coming for me like this but then i <laughs> reflect on it like okay no 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 I do right now because I've lived in America. I've lived as an American all 30 years of my life. So <laughs> that, that is that is all, all, all 19 years of my life. Thank you, TC. Right. So that is the frame of reference I've had. So there are so many times early on where I would come into a series and I would react to whatever the situation was happening. I'd be like, oh, no, I could never. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. And then be reminded that that is culturally mm -hmm. how things were working there at that time, or that mm -hmm. is the culture, blah, blah, blah. So there's so many times I have to step back where I'm like, okay, try not to think of it from this sort of Americanized standpoint. And I mm -hmm. try to just disassociate my, whatever, my political views or my views on <clears throat> whatever they're doing here and just try and look at it from mm -hmm. a human standpoint like okay this is a human person this is a human mm -hmm. person as a human person i don't like this that's happening or i enjoy this that's happening and yes it, it's it definitely requires a lot of just constant self-reflection like you're it, it's I everything's think, not the same all over the world i think americans and i hate to use this word especially during black history mm -hmm. month Mm -hmm. are a little bit more i don't want to say aggressive but we're a little bit more assertive especially where i've seen like say parents bullying their kids and i'm like stand up that could have been putting up to me because there's been uh, like, in my early career everybody who was following me i still have my scissors out ready for somebody <laughs> not <laughs> the prop i forgot which one it was where <laughs> I'm like, his mom was bullying him, and then his stepdad was doing something. I'm like, fight back! This is the Asian culture. They're not going to. They, where I'm like, I'm gonna respect you, respect me. But they're like, no, because you're an elder. And I'm like, it. Someone punch him. No? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Call the police. No? Okay. <laughs> so, I this that's just sad though. <laughs> I mean, she's right though, because sometimes these parents in these shows, like, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, so what are you doing? <laughs> but um, I think for, I guess for me, I think I can relate to when you said, I'm a human, these are humans, how would I approach a situation and how they may approach it, maybe a little different as well mm -hmm. too. I think I'm like that too, because to be completely 100%. I, when I go into a series or I go into anything, I don't really look at um, how would someone of, I guess, being black, LGBT, how would someone take this or how would someone do that? I, I don't really think about that when I'm watching my shows. I watch it, I enjoy it, it is, it is what it is, da, da, da. But if something is incorrect, especially when it comes to that of course they would be like how would i take something like that that's not right but you guys aren't seeing that it's not right what's happening so there's always that kind of toss up for me especially being i'm not like black american because i'm from the caribbean initially so maybe my caribbean represent the house <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah oh, where, are you, where are you from i'm a yardie a peru <laughs> <laughs> So it's 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 very different for me, especially from Trinidad and how I was raised. And like, yes, you know, yes, this is not okay. And how if someone were to call you this, then no. But 
I don't know. It's it's a very different thing for me when it comes to stuff like that. But knowing right from wrong has always been my way of going about stuff. So for me, there's this tension between how much do I bring myself? Because like mm -hmm. I am used to being marginalized where I live in the society, my dominant society. But then also it's like I, I how much do I bring myself, but also my own unique experiences allow me to offer and connect with to this story in ways that I haven't seen. Like for me, and this is just for me, I can connect with a lot of because I don't talk back to my mom. Like I just do not talk back to my mom. That's just mm -hmm. the way that I was yeah, raised. No. I don't talk. I when I was growing up, I didn't talk back to my grandmother. Just I don't. I just like, but also Hurt. they never abused me or anything like that. But I just know if I'm just like. <laughs> so I mean, I get that um, respect being shown to a point. I want to say to a point. If they're abusing and stuff like that, that's something else. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, I realized that without those experiences which I've had and those experiences that are unique to me, um, being a Black person, um, that, that allows me to see in other aspects. That's being queer, like all of this. But also, I don't want to like leave all that and just be like, well, so there's there's always I know that um, when I first started looking at Brio, one of the things that really, really affected me was um, for lack of a better word. And the only thing that I can say and related to it is the colorism when they kept saying, oh, he's light skin. Oh, he's light and bright and clear and all this other kind of stuff. And just hearing that over and over and over again i was like all right no i can't <laughs> like and it's it is not like i want to like i understand that in like the thai culture in different countries it's not about oh, you left okay. bye girl <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck this. I don't like it. <laughs> DC, you, you spill it too much tea. We ain't right. yeah. 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 Too much now, baby. <laughs> I I understand that in, in there it's more of a social thing and like being like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, okay, that now now <laughs> they almost done talking now, but. <laughs> Just bring me off there, get you out. Social economic thing about like working out and like those with and it's it's more of that, but still it's still me. I still am affected by this. And I'm just like, uh, there's just some stuff I just can't just because of me. I'm not saying like everybody can't watch this. I'm just like mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I just have that tension. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I won't say that I've had the same experiences, but I've definitely seen in my BL journey a number of times where like the representation of darker skinned Asian people um, always seems to bring about this almost like sensational reaction um, where it's like, oh, wow, they finally are. <clears throat> For me, I guess it feels a little bit more <clears throat> Not jarring, but I guess I I call attention to it more times when it happens than when it doesn't. Because I can remember the first time, like I was watching, I think Kin Porsche or something, and I saw Oppo, and I'm like, that is a fine brown man. Oh, my goodness! And <clears throat> like, there's so many times where <clears throat> I'll I'll see like someone who is a little bit more darker skinned in the series, and I'm like, God, that is a fine brown man. Oh, that is a deeply tan deliciousness. And I'm just like, I, I, I love to see the representation. I love seeing the, I feel like I haven't seen in a whole lot of it. And it's probably, some of it's probably stemming from what DC was talking about, where in some of these societies, culturally, it is, you know, lighter eyes or fairer skin is seen as more beautiful. And I've seen that in, um, lots of different media um whether i remember watching america's next top model in, as my in my childhood and on cycle five six five four six 
cycle seven, cycle seven. Um, and she was describing to Tyra how in Indian culture, you know, lighter eyes were seen as more beautiful, fairer skins, and that's why she was always wearing these blue contacts. And how you look at all these K-pop acts every time they turn around, they got a different color contact and whatnot because it might just be seen as more beautiful. And then it, it is, it's gorgeous. It's, I ain't taking nothing away from, but I, I definitely notice whenever a more tanned individual, I'll say, um, is being represented on screen. And I find myself just kind of instantly like pointing it out like, oh, look at that thigh, beautiful brown man. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's just force of hand. <laughs> and they be only on like tan on screen because you can't hide their tan skin. But if you see a picture of them, they be bleached out on their Instagram. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling that. Call the police. <laughs> Where is it? Go for it. <laughs> what happened? No, we all know, you know, European imperialism uh, is is rampant <sighs> throughout all cultures, unfortunately. And yeah. like Topher said, it, it's 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 almost like we it should be normalized to see someone especially in a lot of these asian countries because like you know that the media portrays what they want to portray but if you go to some of these countries you will see people that are of darker skin of tanner skin especially in a temperate country like thailand you will see that but obviously they put forth what they think would be you know accepted you know everywhere so yeah. But it should be normalized that we see a dark skinned person on screen. We're just like, okay, per, you know, it shouldn't have to be this like what th they exist, <laughs> you know, mind blown. It shouldn't have to be that. But ho I feel like we're starting to see more um, of a color spectrum of, you know, people in in some of this these Asian media. So I think I think it's a step tiptoe in the right direction putting our feet in the water maybe i don't know but yeah. <laughs> that's right <laughs> that's right it do it but it really is like an exciting thing it's like oh let me reference my melanin real quick i think mm -hmm. i just recently did that for love and translation i was like oh my oh, god yeah. oh wow that was a black man hello oh. <laughs> absolutely or see everything i was like Oh, Absolutely, <laughs> but it is just an, it, I don't know why it's just an exciting thing because we're not used to seeing that really all the time. So when it does happen, it's like a wild Pokemon in the wild. It's like yes, so. <laughs> and we sell when we show up, we show out. So I, I sometimes wonder with say even with BLs why they don't because with say even Black Panther for the long time white superheroes was it when we got our black superhero we showed up. We showed out and we kept showing out and showing out. So it's like, okay, put someone in this community, a good actor, a handsome actor, the same way you'll do Miles, the same way you'll do God Earth. So if you put some, someone <laughs> darker, or even say someone who is Thai, who is darker, mm -hmm. I know for a fact we will show up and show mm -hmm. out. And this man will be the it man, the it boy, or whatever the case may be. Sometimes it just takes one chance, just that one actor, one good role, and it'll be like, oh, let's find someone else a little bit darker. And then two twos, the whole VL community will be mixed. Mm -hmm. We have our pale, medium, dark, <laughs> you know what I mean? Put me in there. Lord, yes, please, please. <laughs> be I'll party. learn to speak Thai. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll try. Or Korean. Right. Or Japanese, I'll, whatever, I'll learn. I'll learn. I'll learn. I'll learn. I'll Just give me a reason to just, and so you're right. It's all about having that chance and also being given that opportunity. So hopefully we get it because that would be amazing. Like, come on. And that, that's why I often look towards Filipino BLs, which I know you get like passed over. Mm -hmm. And the one thing I noticed about them is that there's, there, I'm not going to say there's no colors, but there's barely any color. Like they are like all mm -hmm. colors and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like if y'all missed my plantito last year, oh, you said it. 
What? <laughs> that is my <laughs> show. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, I mean, I've been trying to tell Topher on it, but you know, you've been trying to tell me a lot of things. Okay. <laughs> my Plantito is. I was literally watching it with Shaq and Rosa on the phone. And my Plantito. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He is, oh, like he into is it. lead in there. He is he is, this, he is the romantic lead, and mm-hmm. he's not he's dark skin. He's tan. Mm-hmm. He's like that, and that's the one thing I do notice. Uh, the, Pinoy Biel is not the same quality and all this other kind of stuff. But they give like if you can act, I will give you a chance, and mm-hmm. that is. That is what I really like about it, and that's why I'm always searching over there for that because there's not as much stuff. Sometimes the quality is not as good, and sometimes the story quality is not as good. But especially when I'm starved <laughs> for difference, I will just like <laughs> I will accept. <laughs> yeah, I was I will overlook bad writing and overlook that because you know what. I, I can't hear it. My eyes are talking too loud. You know. So. <laughs> <laughs> but this is also not to say, just in case anybody interprets what we're saying in the wrong light, we are advocating for people that are of darker skin in the Asian community as well. Not just interjecting our blackness, but yeah. Yeah. we're trying to show that there is more than just ivory skin in asian media so just in case anybody you know and more than ivory skin is beautiful right. very that but if you would like to interject my blackness into the bo community i am fine because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> y'all live in thailand mm-hmm. it's not like y'all in russia in the snow there's sun out there stop playing with me not all y'all pale okay i'm sorry Let, let's be real mm-hmm. it's hot y'all be in there sweating and the skin sweating it was my secret crush on you. The man was sweating the whole series. Yes. <laughs> the sun yes. is so good. So Winnie Houston on stage with the towel. It was so <laughs> <laughs> like, I ain't got an AC for this man. Mm-hmm. No, the sun is hot. So we know y'all not really and truly. Watch me be canceled. That's all right. It'd be like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, girl, the number of times this collective chat has probably been canceled. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Here I am. I will. Uh, the many times I didn't got canceled for what my opinion of Kim Porsche child, it's mm. they probably looked at the thumbnail and just canceled us. So <laughs> <Look. laughs> they were like, I- no, no, no. I haven't been canceled in a couple a couple weeks. It's fine. A couple weeks. <laughs> Yes, I can. Black History Month, they can't cancel us. Maybe next month. Yeah, they've been acting up, though. Uh, <laughs> note to Topher, remember to get this out before Black History Month. <laughs> <laughs> on the 29th, on the first. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> on the first, they were like, mm. <laughs> we gotta save it to Juneteenth. It's not, we can't do it. Right. <laughs> Well, good. I got time to play in the Juneteenth round table. Okay. Right. Oh, Lord. But yeah, kind of piggybacking off of what uh, DC was talking about with um, just the Filipino BLs and just how they are a little bit more, I won't say accepting, but just a little bit more diverse in shades, shapes, sizes, ages, whatever it is. They, they, they just got it all there. Um, I feel like when I was first starting to react to things on my channel, back to music, even before I was getting into series, like the Philippines was such a huge part of my just subscribership. And one thing I noticed about reacting to Filipino content is like the people of the Philippines were almost just starved for representation. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my God, mm-hmm. these people are reacting to our stuff. Yes, let me set, all of a sudden yep. the numbers just boom, explode. And like, hey, <laughs> watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. And like, I feel like that is the same almost kind of unintentional reaction that I have anytime I'm watching one of these series. I'm like, ooh, Tan Man, hey, mm-hmm. another, t-. like, it's just that sort of 
craving for representation because representation it matters as minimal as it can be it could just be mm-hmm. a walk-on role it can just be uh, some character off to the side here but like representation in all forms it matters it may not matter to me in that particular moment but it matters to somebody there is somebody or some group of people out there that will see this random ass black asian person with red hair and freckles and be like hey that's like me that, that I, mm-hmm. I like this let me yeah. i didn't know asia had this <laughs> like come on Eve. But, then, but i mean to even push it back on you though so for or all of you really because there are people that are watching us and they're like <gasps> You know, it's like we're technically representing other people too. And especially being that we are black excellence and we're out here doing the damn thing. It's like people get inspired by that. So um, all of that, what you just said, all of it, absolutely all of it. Mm-hmm. And if you're going to put somebody darker, please have them play something sensical. Don't have them be anything stereotypical, please. Thank you, <laughs> sign management. Okay, something good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, y'all don't want to say it, but uh, yeah. uh, look, as as y'all was saying. <laughs> 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 The way I'm urging myself to not do that while doing this, but it's just like, <laughs> it's so hard. Out. Mm-hmm. It's right here. Mm-hmm. It's right here, but I'm just like, calm down. <laughs> so I know we touched a little bit on how um, there are things that we may not necessarily relate to in you know, the bio community or the Asian culture when we're trying to disassociate like, okay, this is my American way of thinking. Let me try and think about it in this way. But are there any things that you have seen in the BL industry or in BL series that as a black person, you can relate to on some way, shape or form? Oh, that CDC thing, wagging a finger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, um, mm. And this is just for me where I grew up and stuff like that. I really, especially in a lot of Japanese and other things. It's like food, and not just Ooh. like food, not just like food, all of it, but the there's the relationship and surrounding and gathering with food. And like my mother even says, you know, I ain't breaking bread with you if I don't like you. Like, and it's it's a very big thing. But there's this whole philosophy around food. But then also for me. Like, I used to watch my grandmother and my mother the cooking and the food, but I also realized it was like cathartic and religious for them. And, and so, so not like they were like, but then when I grew up and I started, I love to cook, but also the process of cooking and the process mm-hmm. of doing this and all this other kind of stuff. So the, the centering of food as almost ritualistic to call upon the good spirits of relationship. <laughs> um, call upon the ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. Like, and it's, it, I, I get that so much. Like, I, I don't know if it's also like some of the best times, like, was when we would gather around Sunday dinner or gather around Thanksgiving or or Christmas and all this other kind of stuff. Just the meal, so, like, soul food. It's it's just this, yeah, yeah. So that's what I can connect to. What I've seen. So also, it looks delicious too. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it's delicious. No, beyond all the philosophy. <laughs> I also like the food. Yeah, they're really looking good. I'm like, what you eating? Someone drop it in the coffee. Right. <laughs> always be like that. <laughs> but that's yeah, true. that's 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 what I get. And also, the hierarchical don't talk to your parents and stuff like that. Like I've mentioned mm-hmm. before, but that's about it. But not that's about it, but that's what I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Honestly, I was gonna say food too, but DC <laughs> went into it like I would. I would have been like, just to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I like you because the way they be eating, I be like, y'all are eating this deliciously, and I want to join. You. Thank you. <laughs> but okay, ah! I, I, he went to join. Yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> you you want to go to a Thai restaurant right now? <laughs> the devil is a lie. It's not a agreeing, <laughs> and it's not agreeing with you today, Mister C. It's like eh, eh, eh. Okay. sorry. <laughs> like, One not mouth. today. <laughs> I don't know. To be honest, I, it would honestly probably be food too. <laughs> to keep it to keep it real, but um. No, yeah, no, food. <laughs> I can't really think of anything that it's like innately yes. I don't know. That's that's still interesting, to be honest. Mm, I think a lot of them I relate to as far as being close to your family. They're really good with being close when their their families are not abusive, which is far in between. Thank you, God. But having a good community, I notice a lot of these BLs either have two or three really good friends and a good say mom it i think mm -hmm. that's something i relate to because i don't need a lot of friends just the two to three good people who are not blood and like one or two people that are right. blood I'm good and i think having those people to turn to in times of despair whether it be love you know there's been a lot of you know bls where something sad or bad has happened and they have that person to reel that back in whether it be their mom whether it be their loved ones i can relate to that because we all need that one good rock in our mm -hmm. lives that we can uh, say, all right, I can't take no more. <laughs> so. Yeah. I too love food. <laughs> <laughs> it's Why y'all so hungry and bring nobody in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't had carbs in months. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I do, I do um, love the sense of community that food tends to have especially like you said in the japanese series um i've noticed that more and more where it's like how i was just re-watching um our dining table over on synergic's 80 oh. hour um two-day mm. stream um mm -hmm. yesterday and i was just reminded so much about how like food really was just this like healing, like it was kind of the cause of some of his trauma, but also it was just like this healing, just yeah. experience and just, it brought people together. And I'm like, that that is that is me, that is my life. I, when I'm not spending 80 hours a week recording stuff for the YouTubes and another 80 hours doing stuff for Drama Llama, I'm in my kitchen for another 80 hours because I have so mm -hmm. many hours, I just invent time. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> I love being in my kitchen. I am constantly cooking, I'm constantly baking and not for myself because if I did, I would be like 700 pounds and like we ain't got time for that. So, but for other people, there's just this joy of making stuff, the process, like I can spend hours. Mm -hmm. I will spend hours in the kitchen and like they're my friends who don't cook and they will come over and be like, why, what, why are you taking so long? What's, what's, why are you still in here? Like what whenever my mom is over, yeah. like, are you still in this kitchen? You, it's been like eight hours. Why are you still here? I'm like, what part I don't of know what Right. <laughs> I mean, like, like, I, 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 I was open invitation. <laughs> Y'all can come I mean, on down. Listen, I'm, like, I'm, I'm in Orlando, so I'm trying to figure out how far I'm going to drive. <laughs> take me to Florida. Like two hours. Like, <laughs> come on over. I know we just met recently, but my birthday is March 24th. Sorry. I mean, what, 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 what flavor <laughs> take you home? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you just let me know. But yeah, I, I like if I don't have somewhere to be, I will just go in there. I will turn on either the flavor of love. I love New York, America's Next Top Model, some Period. trash reality TV trash from the early two thousand, and I will spend the yes. entire day in the kitchen just. <laughs> and before I know it, it's two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I guess I should go and like record something. Like I've I've, I've been neglecting things too much. Let me take a break from this cooking. Like, so I I love just how cooking is just such a staple, like a community staple in some of these series. I, I, mm. I relate to that. Well, yeah. I like that. I know so, yeah. Spirit flies down there, so. Spirit does gotta, fly down here. I know intimately. Gotta, Me and Spirit, we, 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 we besties. I've got to come down. To mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I lend you some of my Spirit points. 
I fought with her. I don't, I don't mean her. We ain't friends no more. <laughs> I don't Hello. play with spirit. That's my mama whistle. We don't play with dopey, so. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> when, I fl- when I flew to Vegas last week, I literally just sat on the plane. I'm like, please, for the love of God, let there be windows. <laughs> don't let there be a bolt missing. <laughs> don't let nothing. Don't let nothing go wrong, please. I'm already, I already got yeah. trust issues with this airline anyway. Just please yeah, let I me get the there, and <laughs> please. And I did. So, you know, it's I mean, I heard she got better. She got black seats now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And I upgraded myself to a little, you know, exit row because I'm gonna get myself a little, a little eleven inches extra, which they know. really <laughs> wasn't all that much. That's one that I came back to look at. I'm like, oh, no, well, oh. out a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they say eleven inches, but <laughs> that that was very much a grinder, eleven inches. But that's not so here nor there. <laughs> If y'all hear my black child in the black being loud, sorry. Bring him on. <laughs> <laughs> it's never too early to, t- to teach them about the, the black BL. No, no. <laughs> uh, look at Andy in the back chat. Yes, I'm sorry. I got Andy. sidetracked. No, you find Andy in the back, in the front, on the side, wherever. It's just, just look at him. <laughs> but I'm looking at this actor for this Filipino drama. Y'all tell me about. Oh, my black teacher. Yes, Mister. Yes. 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 yeah, that's, that's not a good picture because he has. Oh, a but the other one, Kit too. Kit is adorable. <laughs> oh, I do love me some Kitch. Yeah, I love so. him. Kitch. Yeah, no, Kitch is and he did so. And also, Kitch was like, since I saw him last, he's been working out, and I'm like, oh yes. <laughs> mm. I was he like, said, I'm trying to keep up with all you, but even though you really didn't have to, but you know, pull off. <laughs> that little <laughs> that. That I see. Oh, he's dark. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, look, 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 I might tell you a joke, but I'm not going to tell you a lot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that man like he was working is... on that plan, Tito. Hold on, let me. Good grief! I did all the watches. Turn off and like chat me. Oh, I see it, Jesus! I see it. Yes, I took. I don't. Rec- <laughs> I don't recommend. That. No, I'm just. Look, I will get to it at some point, DC. I will. I prom- I'm still trying to get to the thick boy you gave me last time. So I think I, I, I got oh, 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 share okay. with the class. Oh, share with All the right. share with so, the community. Y'all also have to look at this uh, BL from Hong Kong. Stay still. Uh, in stay still. There's Kevin. Uh, Kelvin. Kevin. Like they pronounce it wrong. He is, and as far as representation, also beyond size. Like he is actually a bigger person, but also he love that a sex. Um, he he has a he's sex a drive sex. and stuff oh. like that. And he's a sex you know what? and he's not just like played for. Like for me, I hate that dome is played for laughs but him kevin and stay still he's like he's he is the catch like he's the prize hmm. <laughs> and i'm looking at his my there, drama list picture and me too girl right me too. But no but but also you have to see the series the series is short but in the series he has a scene mm-hmm. and i'm googling it <laughs> oh i've heard of this one <laughs> Yeah, it's the hesitation for me. The scene. He, he has a scene where it's like very passionate and just like it's just like. What? I've heard of this one. When this was out, it was all a buzz on my Twitter, but I was too busy watching something else, so it's, I didn't get to it. Mood. It's real short. Sure. I oh. even did a um, I did I a watch party over on uh, Twitch for it, and it was just it took like two days, but like. Mm. It, it's real short. Um, there's also episode zero. Um, I love that. Then also there's a grandma in there that I loved. So. Well, we love a good mom now. 
Okay, where are we go on ahead and edit fine. I will watch it today. I will after I finish up. I will watch it here. No, 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 no. I'm no, 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 Yes, okay. I know I love me a thick boy. We've talked about this. Mm -hmm. I need more. Mm -hmm. Thick lives, safe lives, precious. I mean, hello. I mean, y'all and y'all stick. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sorry, huh? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they got a they got a little still from uh, episode three, and he looked like he got a good amount of surface area. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can share with a class. You ain't, ain't got to be crying. stingy. Oh my goodness! Oh, it's on my. I I for, I me, the whole. for me, I believe in community, and I believe if I see something, I want mm -hmm. to share it with the community <laughs> i want to i want to share <laughs> goodness good good put out goodness in the world goodness will come back to you yeah so that's why oh, i'm yeah. saying look at this look at this. and we appreciate you for it right yeah <laughs> oh, okay where than can i watch this snicker. how are you doing youtube <laughs> wow crying oh youtube you see yes. already working in our but that's the there. difference with, with hong kong you'll get you'll get all the gay You'll get all yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. I am so sorry for like no taking us know. off <laughs> because I do this, I digress often. So again, if Jesus wanted us to be somewhere else, he would have led the conversation elsewhere. This is the day like that, that the Lord has made. And I'm gonna <laughs> rejoice and be glad in this. Glad in him. Ah. Him Snickers, mother. Come on, word. Yes. You better work. Yes, according to Beyond Chapter 14, right. verse 22, <laughs> <laughs> the Lord has said, if he is thicker than a Snickers, you shall rejoice <laughs> and be glad in him. Wow. I, I am rejoicing <laughs> to the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, now, you know some oh, black no, reverend out there writing this down for their... Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, with me. No, that's, that's actually good, though. We need to be a Bible just like that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you know what? Don't give me ideas. I will start. No, seriously, it could be like that. I stated in thick thighs 13 12. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> thick thighs oh. 13 12. Oh, God. I'm still over here and on my planito. I'm <laughs> I messed up a funny picture of him on the beach. And I'm still here. Wow. Okay, so, wow. So, I'm still here trying to figure out my, where. Look. My Partito is okay. So it was originally put out as a TikTok um, uh, series, but it was like 52 episodes or whatever. But they condensed it all into like six or whatever on YouTube. So you go to the YouTube one and don't, if you look at my drama, uh, my drama, you're like 32 episodes. I'm not watching this, but like they, <laughs> they were just like, nah, I'll drop nah. It. <laughs> if I see anything over 20, I'm like, no, it's no, some of these that are long like that, they're so good. They are. You just have to <laughs> like, know you're making the time commitment. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm a, I'm a big watcher of like okay. Chinese drama, so it, mm -hmm. as long as it's under yeah. 15, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. yeah, Chinese, Chinese drama be 45 episodes and mm -hmm. only eight episodes you needed. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you coming for Thailand like that? What? What the damn? <laughs> no. Why? I'm like, sometimes with Thai, I'm like, yeah, this this episode could have been an email. Like, this is not like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Certain one, like when they make a Yeah, they could have shortened this. Yeah. I don't know where the conversation was going. I don't know where 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 this talk oh, no. ended. I don't know. At this point, we we this is blackness and BL, y'all. This right? is the black love and boys love. Okay. <laughs> this this is what you get. You get 20 minutes of us on task and then 
and that's the cookout. So. I will say just to get back on the topic really fast with BLs. As far as mm-hmm. Thailand, one thing I do love, and I've been seeing a lot of it lately, is that I know I'm not too sure if it's being gay okay, is like legal yet, or like they can get married yet in Thailand. But the way they treat their BL actors in Thailand is beautiful. Where mm-hmm. You see them everywhere, and it, I absolutely adore that. Where even though some of them may not be gay, whatever, who cares? I just love how they're treated over there, and mm. I feel like they're not treated gay. They're just treated as actors and stars and such. Mm-hmm. Where in America, if you are gay, the first thing they'll say, "Gay actor." I'm an actor first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Can you treat me as such? Or a black actor, black this or gay this? I don't want to be that, and I've noticed say some of my subscribers like oh i'm in thailand and they'll send me pictures of train stations with uh uh earth what's his the other guy he's always with i can't think of his name i have my brain next there you go i, I hate him <laughs> yeah him that guy who took my man <laughs> <laughs> they be everywhere and I, love and I wish i wish we can get some some of that maybe we can start doing more BLs and stuff in America and make them stars. And just not because they're gay, they're good actors. It's good entertainment. They're entertainers first and foremost. I want to go to a fan meet so I can scream too. But I love that about Thailand. They're stars, not BL stars, the stars, the end. That's one thing. Who is this tan man? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I would try to come. Oh, oh, that's still him. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Jordy went to go Jordy find him. Right, right. <laughs> over the sorry, sorry. But you know, but no, you're right though. You know, like they are treated like like stars there, and it's not like. It, it, their sexuality is not the most important thing. But then again, you do see some publications where people want to know, you know, like mm-hmm. what's going on, you know, whether you're going to get that anywhere really, but they are definitely mm-hmm. like posted everywhere. You see like they're in commercials mm-hmm. there and whatever. And mm-hmm. here you don't really, you don't really see that. Yeah. You get the occasional Maybelline commercial or like the Dior commercial, but it's different here than it is there. And I've, I've just mm-hmm. gotten used to that. But would it be cute over here? Absolutely. But them and the gay here it's just mm. we're not ready for that yet unfortunately mm. which is unfor- very unfortunate absolutely but like, what if we lived in an ideal world where america mm. was ready for that like what would you want to see in a an american bl series oh a topic I know. I, I contribute sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see race inclus- uh, inclusivity where different races. I would love to see size. I would love to see oh my God, real, yes. real topics. Um, and just them living out loud and not being ashamed. I'm so over traumas in BL. So I would love them to be mm. not traumatized first. And just be in love and be loud and proud about it and mm. it'd be a good budget, good lighting, and them have AC for the actors so they're not sweating on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Simple. I have to agree with you there, 100%. Oh, yes. I would like to see yeah. external microphones so when they hug, I don't hear a <laughs> 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 um. But I understand the show. I get it. I get it. But did they really embrace if we don't hear that? (laughs) (laughs) Give me a boom. Just (laughs) ain't booming. (laughs) (laughs) They need to rewatch Dear Real Love and understand where the boom mic needs to go. That boom mic was a paid actor. Hello. (laughs) Okay. Come on. Um, the boom mic was in the credits. Like <laughs> <laughs> boom mic played boom mic <laughs> by themselves. Where's the Emmy? <laughs> right. Um, for me, as far as America, since I feel like gays or anyone in the queer community are always portrayed as the sassy, mean, like, um. 
as holy character, I would like to see other type archetypes. Mm. Like, because it's like almost every, in any American media, any show, I always see them portray gay people as these just really almost disrespectful type of people. And I'm like, can we get something else? Can we get the soft boys? Can we get the, you know, can we get a whole array of different type of people? Cause we're not all just catty, you know? Yeah. So for me, that's, I would like to see other archetypes of characters. Please and thank you. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Wait, but to tribute that, do you think it's, you are what you see kind of thing? Cause I realize a lot of people go off of what they, what they see out here and this is how it's supposed mm -hmm. to be. When actuality, that's really not what it is. There are gay folks that are nerds. There are gay folks mm -hmm. that, you know, just not that. <laughs> so yeah. I think, I don't know if it's more on like a, what's popular and if you're not I, this, you can't. I think it's how Western media likes to portray certain people. Cause we all know how they portray black people. So <laughs> we know how they're gonna portray what do gay you mean? people. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for that conversation. Show, show. That's a that's a Juneteenth conversation. <laughs> we'll um, a Juneteenth conversation it takes two days. To, <laughs> oh my. But uh, so I think Western media definitely takes what. <clears throat> see everybody else and portrays that in the media so we we get we get one type and that's it and that's it so you know that's fine i okay so i think that those things that get popular fall into whatever the dominant discourse it the predominant racial discourse is that is based upon the power system the historical power systems blah 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 blah, blah. and i use discourse in the sense of Foucauldian discourses that construct and re reproduce and reproduce this this power system this identity and all this other kind of stuff there are um and this is good taking it back to the U.S., just taking it back to the U.S. for a second. There are movies that I like that don't involve Black trauma, that don't involve this, but they, it all, the, the, I'm not so it's not a Tyler Perry but, movie then. So. Right, <laughs> but, but like, like one of my favorite movies is, well, a couple of my favorite movies, Last Holiday with uh, Queen Latifah. Yes. Oh, no yes. Black trauma, there was no, it was just, it was it, Queen Latifah being Queen Latifah. But then yes. also there was About Last Night and that mm. remake, the Black remake. And it mm -hmm. wasn't, there was also, and I personally like it, um, the photograph um, by Issa Rae when she did it. And it got no, it, there, there was just nothing because it didn't, it doesn't fit into this wider, okay, this is what Blackness is, but, mm -hmm. Saying what blackness is, is usually determined by the dominant power structure. However, those people who are black get to decide what blackness is because they're black. We get to decide right here. Guess what? Part of blackness is liking BL. Why? Mm -hmm. Because we're fucking black or we fucking like it. <laughs> like, it, 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 we don't, it, it, yeah, you're saying that. Okay, yeah, you, uh, yeah. That's nice. Be quiet. But <laughs> it, 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 and it, unfortunately, a lot of people, when you're young, when you're not developed enough, you get all your information from the outside. It's like, okay, you know, I have to be like this. I have to be black. I have to be black. And then sometimes people run with this until their older age. It's not <clears throat> until you actually stop and say, you know what? It's not that I don't, it's not, it's, look, I still listen to like Anita Baker and all the other kind of stuff and, mm -hmm. and, and all, I, 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 but there's also other stuff out there. I listen to also J-pop. I listen to all these other things. Mm -hmm. I listen to some 
Pinoy. And it's it's about redefining what blackness is, but not to shun your blackness, but also add more things into it. Mm -hmm. Um I don't know why I know that. But yeah, that's <laughs> so I think that is a thing that and especially this one of the things we're doing right now. We get to say what it is. Like, mm -hmm. oh no, black no, we fucking do it. That's why it's black. <laughs> <laughs> and that's on par. <laughs> I think if it is invited more black people into say the creative spaces. Uh, whether it be writing, whether it be casting, it would save a lot of this face. <laughs> if, 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 if I see Tyler Perry anywhere, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be traumatized. Okay, <laughs> um, let me see, because the way that sometimes you could tell when there's no black people on, because the way the wigs look, mm. the way uh, the makeup looks. The way that we act on camera, I'm like, okay, if there's a certain type of black character and they're acting a certain type of way, I'm like, oh, there was no black people in the room when y'all was writing mm -hmm. the script. It shows. There was no black people when y'all was casting. It shows. And there was no black people on set because wh whose idea was this? Let me talk to them. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. But if it is more of us or even not even, it doesn't necessarily even have to be a black person, someone of color. I think most mm -hmm. times it will just make it more digestible for us of color to say, okay, this is a good movie. No one's traumatized. Mm -hmm. What? A black man was just in love and he didn't have to fight and cry to get there. A black woman was in love and her hair, her wig didn't come off in the movie. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Period. That's all. We don't ask for a lot. Not a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, just... Oh. <laughs> yeah, Shamar Moore's wig was coming off the whole Tyler Perry movie. Mm. Oh my god! Mm. Was here in the beginning. The braids. <laughs> no, when I found out that even in um, what was it, Criminal Intent or whatever that crime show he was in, he was wearing a wig the whole time. I was like, Wait, the braids weren't real. CSI, he was wearing a wig. It was Criminal yes. Minds? Criminal Minds. Mind. Yeah, Criminal, criminal Minds. Mind. I said CSI. Yeah. He been wearing a wig for years. Not hmm. okay. Like, Interesting. I was like, oh. <laughs> but it looks my mind blown. Like, hey. He's cute ball. Wow. So he, this the, the, one of the one of the few. No, that's no way. Hold on. Hold on. Let me rewind. I was really I about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> one of the many black men that are just, you know, beautiful that I've always been like, damn, that is a really good looking black man. So I didn't know that. He's definitely wild. be buckling. <laughs> Not a toupee. <laughs> 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 well, if it makes him feel beautiful, then go ahead. Wear your little yeah, wear, wear, wear it, wear it, honey. Just make well, sure the lace is laid down, please. I'm a black put it on him and put it on my eyes because I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell. Just blend the lace. Well. That's all I ask. <laughs> Did you guys oh, ever man. watch that gay drama Backstreet Rookie? No. 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 But I know what you're talking oh, about. No. As somebody who is Jamaican, they had the um, one of the second lead males. He had dreadlocks the entire blood clot movie. See, when I watched it, every every urge of my Jamaicanness wanted to come in by all all of South Korea. I'm like, oh, we got beef. He had dreadlocks. He was Korean. <laughs> he had Rasta colors. And the first scene of this Asian Korean man was him like this. Oh, my hair. Yeah, my hair. Mm, I was like, mm, ah, mm, you got play with me. <laughs> and I only watched it because the main female lead I liked. And I wanted to. I sat through. I just. After that, I. Mm. <laughs> so it was not a. So was it a mockery of. It, it was blatant. I would fight your mama disrespect. Like I was like, <laughs> oh, he was smoking weed. He had roster colors on the whole sixteen, maybe twelve episodes. This show was, and I'm like, this is not a low budget. And this is what I mean when I say having black people somewhere mm -hmm. 
-hmm. There was absolutely not even a half black person in the vicinity. <sighs> not even a Hispanic person. No one dark was in there. And I <sighs> let me see if I can find it. You say he was one. No, I just, I just. Let me. I just and his block for ugly. This man was in this movie, <sighs> irritating my whole song. Yeah. Oh, so he won't black. He was a black. Yeah. He was a black. <laughs> he was Jack Black, and I still well, know actually, what you did last summer. Actually, funny enough, <laughs> he, looked, he did look darker in the show as well. So I don't know if they try to make him look darker, but he spoke wow. Korean. Korea. And I, <laughs> to this day, it gives me nightmares. <laughs> it gives me nightmares. Someone who is Caribbean, who does have locks. So now mm -hmm. you're the first thing that's your mind is that your hair, and they have flies and stuff. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I ain't watching it. Oh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's, that is not even a normal thing. Why did they no. thought that was okay? Mm -mm. This is him again. This in the whole show. So this is where, in a perfect world, in a perfect <laughs> world, and really and truly, there was no need for him to even be. Say there, I was waiting for the point. I watched up until a couple of episodes. Like, okay, what's the point of him looking like that? I to this day don't understand it. <sighs> but this is what I'm saying. When you have people in these creative spaces, half even the person was a half black person, they would be like, "That's not okay. Don't do that." Or maybe we don't make him so on the nose. Like it, it yes. feels like a little. It's like. Yeah, sure. Here's your yeah. Jamaican character caricature list here. Yeah, to be honest, like, that, that be seemed so like it was intentional tonight. Because God forbid, here comes a black character in an American show pretending to be Korean. Because God forbid oh me, to this day, I can't like K-pop without being a Korea boo. <laughs> I've had people on my YouTube tell me, oh, you only like Asian, man. I have a whole black child in there. <laughs> <laughs> Should I bring her out? She's a Negro. <laughs> okay. So. Excuse me. Oh my God. So I just think we have to be respectful. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Y'all ain't going to Anyways, I digress. What were we talking about? Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, Why? How long have you been doing this? Almost four years. <laughs> I, know, I know. You know. I, oh my God! I have never seen you. That is so crazy. You are hilarious. <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, when I see you, I all I do is talk, you. All, all I do is talk crap on YouTube. Like whatever I feel. I mean, no, uh, but still. <laughs> I'm not looking to you, friend. <laughs> oh, I just talk crap. Hey, <laughs> no, no, but it's no because it's crazy you say that because I was like just thinking because we have this conversation all the time, me and Jordi and Lisa, where it's like you guys get our influence, the black people's influence, but yet still when you portray us, it's of utmost disrespect. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand that, but yet still, when we try to give y'all a little something and saying we love this too, we listen to this also, we're into it too. It's just nothing but. Eh -eh. I will never understand that at all. But go off, mm -hmm. I guess. <laughs> don't go off. Stay your ass in your lane. You're, there's so many amazing cultures within, say, Thai culture. Their Absolutely. culture is so diverse, and I've learned so much. Um, I heard you guys talking about Tharn type before. There's a scene where he goes. Oh, off. they were what? <laughs> <laughs> well, they were having a conversation. I was eavesdropping. <laughs> but there's a scene where uh, type goes off into I forgot what the ceremony is that they go to be monks for a short period of time. That's a mm. beautiful. That whole scene, I cried through the whole thing because it's so beautiful. There's so pretty. much diversity within your own culture. Could you possibly stay there? No? Okay. Here we are in Jamaica, not in our own damn. <laughs> but we just stay in our own. Let's <laughs> just stay over there. Oh. All right. So, my school president, I like. I really like my school president. Mm. However, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's just the word. There was one scene in it where they had a rap battle, 
And I was, like, <laughs> I was just like, oh, oh God, God. <laughs> it's like, I can't be here for this. Like, no. No. No, no, you ain't going. You will not be <laughs> the name of my, my, my show. I don't want to hear this on my. Oh God! Oh Lord! Oh, the internet here is. No. Oh, okay. Oh, it ain't one to work with me. Internet. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, and we were reacting to it. And I just like, I I really, there, like I was talking about earlier, this is tension. There was just like, now if I say something about this, <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to be wrong. Mm-hmm. But if I, it, it, I always have to weigh that, that, mm-hmm. that, that, that. W. D. Du Bois, like, like, dual, like, like. Okay, what, what, what can I? I'm like, I'm just gonna. Sometimes I just like, I'm just gonna let it slide. I'm, mm, no, <laughs> but just see, no. when you let it slide, <laughs> the people who've been following you long enough will start coming for you in the comment section for not calling it out. Because I've had mm-hmm. that happen far too many times. Mm-hmm. I'm like, listen, mm-hmm. do you want me to you call out your show, or do you not want me to call out your show? <laughs> Cause I'll call mm-hmm. it the reason why I haven't reacted to Love and Dinner. I ain't got, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you want me to come for your show? You want me not to come for your show? Cause like, if I'm gonna come for your show, I'm gonna come for it. So please let me know what you would like me to do. So, yes. That whole oh. scene was very Eight Mile with Eminem. That whole <laughs> right. was, like, I, it was I, cute. I mean, they tried. It was a choice. <laughs> 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 But that's also why I don't look at the comment section. I just I I have oh. the option of not <laughs> comment section. That's I just let Edison do that. But like I'm not like poor Edison in therapy for all this hate he's getting for DC. Right. <laughs> and then sometimes in the comment sections, like they don't say anything. I'm like, oh okay, so I was tripping. So no one else saw that. Okay, so <laughs> okay, no one else saw we were in eight mile. Okay. That was Eminem. No, okay. So, so better not to say. <laughs> yeah, for me, and as I've said this, for like I, I followed Topher and Shaki. I just followed you, and also side note, your mom is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Your mom <laughs> is just, and she's yeah. also lovely. And so, just Aww. if you tell her that, like, she, she, oh my god. So sometimes it's like I. Get it I, I follow other people <laughs> and I'm just looking at I'm like, okay, I have this reaction. Let me go see what this person said. Oh, yes. okay. All right. All right. And I don't comment because I'm just not a commenter. But I'm like, okay, that needs to be all right. I'm not. So mm-hmm. even though you may not see a comment up there, just know that somebody else like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or they might just do <laughs> like. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, when you make comments, then other people are gonna comment for your comment. Mm-hmm. I'm just like Absolutely. I don't oh god damn it. I'm gonna go fight you. <laughs> <laughs> like I I didn't wanna have to fight you. I, <laughs> I, I often have to give the disclaimer. I'm like, look, y'all. I don't need everyone to agree with me. I yeah. do not need you guys to agree with me. We are allowed to have differences of opinion. That's what makes the world go really? round. I just it's ask y'all not to be assholes in my comment section. That's all I need. Right. So I simple. We, right. we don't got to agree. Correct. You can, That's all. Yes, you can have yeah. a difference of opinion. That's fine. I love seeing other mm-hmm. people's opinions. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they make me think, okay, I didn't think of it that way. Hmm. And other times I'm like, interesting. I don't agree, but interesting. Mm-hmm. Have fun with that idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's very hard because a lot of these shows, like I can name like good two shows that it was like, I remember everybody has their own opinion and it's like, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying you're right, but that's just your own opinion. But if you're looking at a character and the character is clearly doing something they ain't supposed to be doing because it affects another character, but yet you're defending this character, but I'm saying, no, this person is, baby. What's what's happening? <laughs> so it's very hard to really pick apart when the commenters are just like going so in. So sometimes I just leave it alone. Like, okay. 
Do you so do you mm-hmm. guys not say nothing or do you say it and just oh well it's, it's, like lately I've been addressing them in my videos because yeah. I would read your comments and like so some of y'all were definitely not on the same fence as we are, but you guys have to remember we're taking the show in just as you are. You may get something different than what we're getting mm-hmm. from it. You're welcome to that opinion, but if right is right, right is right. <laughs> so <laughs> they, what would you want? Why I can't, I'm not gonna fight y'all on this. Absolutely not. But you're welcome mm-hmm. to have your opinion. Just be correct. So I, I will block you. <laughs> yeah. That is, hey. I've screamed to the high heavens. I wish you would bring back the block user feature. Like I know yes. they have my like, user from channel, but like, no, I want the satisfaction of hitting block. Like I, yeah. I, I want to see me. Yes. Get off my stuff. Don't watch my stuff. Don't comment on my stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. No. But you know. Yeah. But they for me, have- I'll, I'll be rolling up my right. sleeves and get my best lean in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I have done the same. I've had a comment. I've been having time. Crazy. I said, drop your Addy and we'll talk about it in person. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> it's funny because I always like defend my friends. So like Shaki will send like, y'all see this person in my comments? I'll be like, oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. And it was because it's some of the most wildest things. It's like, what is happening here? It's like, yeah, yeah. You know? I like it. Leave. Of all the millions of you know, YouTubers, there's a million YouTubers. If you yes. don't like it, you must like it because you stayed. Mm-hmm. Hey. <laughs> I love you. Real quick. Thank you for my, my viewer account going up, but Facts I told someone that like they kept every video, something negative, asking if I had Botox, if I had lip inject. First of all, I'm black. <laughs> every video i think it was like almost every one at one point oh too much lip filler okay thank you for my comments <laughs> going up that is so rude but, uh, once i asked you for the address she never came back i was like all right <laughs> <laughs> i'm like i'll show you all my lip filler up close with the address <laughs> there is uh, one DL that I ever truly was uncomfortable with, and that was Love by Chance. There was a mm. scene where Techno was drunk, and his brother's mm. friend slept with him. You guys remember? And Techno woke yep. up and yeah. was like, "What happened to me?" And he's like, "Like, oh, you have to take responsibility for me. You won't leave me, right?" And I remember watching this, and I had to pause it. I'm like, "Y'all know this is wrong." Please tell me y'all know mm-hmm. this is wrong. This is rape. And everybody was like, yeah, we know it's wrong, but keep watching. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, but keep watching. <laughs> I was like, like, if I was kind of like, yeah, we know it's wrong. It's messed up. Like, trying to make it seem like that's the only bad thing. But I'm like, after this, I'm turned off. And mm-hmm. that's probably why I never did season two. But I was like, why would y'all think this is okay to put this in? Mm-hmm. It, and yeah. it's like, it's not... It's not like in BL, it's like a one-time thing or that particular thing um, goes with the story. It's like they put it in there just to put it in there a lot mm-hmm. of times. And I'm like, why are we romanticizing this? There is my issue. Lord, I've been singing this at high heavens for years. So I'm just like, I don't care if assault is featured in a series or in a movie. I don't care if it serves a narrative purpose. Yes. Like if there is, if you're going to show me like the repercussions of this after the fact, like, okay, the trauma that was inflicted upon them, blah, 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 blah. And we're going to explore that. I'm like, fine, cool, great. But if it's just like, hey, listen to this amazingly romantic soundtrack and look at this mood lighting that's happening. I'm like, no, 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 I, I don't need this. And y'all, I got into so many heated debates during Ken Porsche and people would want to come for my throat. I'm like, no. And then two episodes later, Ken Porsche addressed it and they started apologizing. I'm like, see, I told y'all bitches. I told Which you. <laughs> 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 hmm. Which hmm? scene were you debating with? Um, it was the bathroom. Bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom yeah. one. Oh, bathroom scene. Oh, because he was because drunk. Was, yes, mm-hmm. he was drunk. And I'm like, oh, oh the first look. Yes. Like, I I don't 
I know this stuff happens in real life. I know people get drunk or do drugs and they yeah. make out and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, mm-hmm. whatever. That's a whatever. I just would love to see stories if the first time we kiss or the first time we do this isn't under the guise of I'm wasted, I'm drunk, yeah. I'm drunk. Because mm-hmm. then A, the next day they can turn around like, oh, I was wasted. That wasn't me. I have no recollection, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I would love, if you're trying to sell me the ship, I would love the ship to start in a place that isn't drenched in all of this <clears throat> mm, nastiness so mm-hmm. like that particular scene to me i'm like well okay that's um that's technically kind of assault in a sense but okay whatever and people want to come in the comment section oh you should stop imposing you know this is just fantasy this is fake stuff these aren't real characters this is you stop imposing real world morals on this is this is the mob this is the blah 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 and i'm like <laughs> i'm like i get that I'm just speaking as somebody who is being sold a romance story right now. This is not romantic to me. And then like three episodes later, Ken and Porsche had a conversation when they handcuffed in this cave and he apologized and they worked things out. I'm like, see, if it wasn't an issue, they would feel no need to apologize right Mm -hmm. Right there, Mm -hmm. right there. Done. And I was fine with them the rest of the series. I'm like, good. Y'all have your little happy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there've been so many series where it's like, I just, I ain't got time for it. Mm-hmm. But it's the fact that they would come for you in the comments for speaking up on incorrect things. The, number of, thing? the number of times I'm like, what bizarre world am I living in where me speaking against assault is the it's crime wrong. here? Why am yeah. I being flamed? Because I'm saying I don't really like assault. It doesn't really get my motor revving. How dare you? <laughs> I I have a question. Now, do you feel like sometimes you get or we get like backlash because we're marginalized as opposed to if other reactors say it, <laughs> then it'll be fine. <laughs> like do you, do you, I feel like that does happen. Mm-hmm. Um, especially um, Malika, do you feel like, especially because you're a black woman, <laughs> that if you say stuff or if you have something, they'll not even come hard on what you're saying. They don't engage with you. You're saying they engage with your identity all of a sudden, like you were talking about with yeah. they were talking about lip fillers and stuff like that, or 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 any of that kind of stuff they 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 don't uh, they don't engage what we're saying they start saying oh well you're this you're this you're Mm -hmm. this and it's like personal attack what the Mm -hmm. hell does this have to do with my argument that i just put out yeah (laughs) stick to task Uh, stick to task come on now yeah i would say god thank you god and this is the reason why I do it because I don't make any money on YouTube. Let me just say that I don't make no money on mm-hmm. YouTube. I'm copyrighted. I'm a copyright queen. They will block me. But I will say <laughs> my my YouTube has been more positive. So if I do say like I don't like this, I don't understand this. I have more people who will teach me. Okay, this is what this is in this community because I am not part of the LGBT community. Q plus. I don't understand certain things or I'm not used to saying. There was a, I forgot what show it was when they had an acronym. Oh, when I first started reacting, he referred to somebody as a top. So what the hell is that? <laughs> and so <laughs> and then they're like, oh. Can I'll ask. Because if I don't know, I'll ask. Before I make a comment, I will ask. I will, I'll pray. Yes, <laughs> I will ask. <laughs> so in my <laughs> I, I didn't know. I was like, what's well, the top? I was like, how do you get it? <laughs> so, like, I've heard some stuff. I'm like, I don't get it. So I will ask, and I thank God my community, except for a, a couple, will say, okay, this is why this is, this is how we feel. And I think for me, I think they just like that I'm willing to one, learn, listen, and I feel like I'll cry. I'll be on there crying. I'm like, it sucks that anybody, because who they love, have to go through this. It sucks mm-hmm. that every time there's someone who's in love, there's a trauma behind it. We, me and Topher have spoken about this. If it's a drum, if there's trauma to get to love, I don't want to see it because that's not the case. And the people who I know who are gay in real life, they just went out to a store and saw them in Publix. Oh, we're in love. Why is it that my father did this? <laughs> I was hurt this way. I hate that. But 
Thank you, God. My community is more positive. And I think I also have that mom energy where it's just really just love. And I'm like, why? Oh, hell. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I want to keep it that way. Thank God. Let's keep it positive because I will deactivate this account so fast. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, to piggyback off of what Malika was saying, most reactors, especially in the BL space, are not making money on YouTube. So if you have a favorite BL reactor, get in their comment section right now and thank them because it is a pain in the ass. Let me tell you, I already contacted Shaki earlier this week. Like, hey, how you do this dead friend forever reaction? I have edited <laughs> that reaction to episode one nine times and it is still blocked. I have emailed mm -hmm. Beyond Cloud four times and gotten radio silence. I have submitted a dispute online and nothing. It. So you go into the comment section, your favorite reactor, and you say thank you because it is a lot of work, but no money. Please and thank you. Signed sincerely. Four times? Yes. I've sent four emails and I've gotten nothing. But I went, I remember going through the same thing with Ken Porsche, where like when it came to the first like four or five episodes, they eventually got back to me after like a day and a half, two days, something like that. And then oh. later on in the series, it just, I would hear nothing to the point where I'm like, I don't have time to wait. A week and a half, two weeks for you to get back to me. So I'm just going to block out the screen on YouTube now, blah, blah, blah. And I just did the risk in Porsche that way. So that is my, that is my next step in um, the Dead Friend Forever. Cause I'm like, I don't know what to do. Cause like Shaki said, he uploaded his and I'm, I'm fine. They did, they claimed it. I'm not blocked. And then I go to other people's reactions. I'm like, okay, Shaki said, cut out 60%. Make sure it's not too big. Make sure you're not showing any of the goody goody sex scenes. I'm like, okay. So I did all of that. Meanwhile, I go over to this channel. I'm like, okay, the screen is this big. We show in 45 mm -hmm. minutes. I'm seeing ass and all of the sexy time shenanigans and it is perfectly <laughs> fine on YouTube. So I'm like, I don't know what God I angered, but like, <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> YouTube. It really Thank you, favorite reactor. <laughs> they yeah, really, I, on their Twitter, say they block it out. So, like, I'm following yeah. rules. Just in case they decide to double back and then want to block folks, I followed your rules. <laughs> Look, I think but, it's whoever you get on that day. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a lottery, because I have uh, Tharn Type, the wedding, on my channel to mm -hmm. this day where nobody else has that reaction because the moment you say, oh, who's wedding? They block you. I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how, why it's still there. I didn't even try Ken Porsche. Cause when I was doing the reaction to the preview, they were like, mm -mm, mm -mm. I put Porsche so fat on Patreon. I was like, all right, sorry y'all. Whoever wanna watch, y'all can pay a little $3 and watch it with me there. I'm sorry, I cannot. And I will not because I'm in school. I'm a mother. I work outside of this. I am tired. Mm -hmm. Talking about, oh, let me go post my, what? Block. <laughs> I would be the most saddest <laughs> thing when they block your videos. And you know what's so funny? Mm -hmm. Everybody should kind of follow the GMM TV laws of mm -hmm. reactions. Just make a reaction form, fill it out, put the link, make sure it's unlisted. You send it off. Let you wait a good 24 hours. But mm -hmm. I guess they need people to really just be just focused on that because they probably mm -hmm. get a lot of videos, you know, because everybody mm -hmm. wants to, you know. So... I can understand that, but for certain people getting blocked, but other people aren't. What's going on? Are you guys are picky and choosy who you let react now all of a sudden? I don't know. It's racist. They hate me because I'm black. <laughs> and during Black <laughs> History <laughs> Month. Right. But then that's crazy because <laughs> so it's just like, I don't know. No idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's hard. GMM TV is probably one of my favorite ones where I'm like, oh, y'all want me to do this show? And I look, oh, who's, who's, sh I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't been mm -hmm. on YouTube in the last two months. I just can't. I, I know I promised you before I was going to post April Fool's. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> I just can't deal with the fighting and the w watching a whole hour show just for me not to be able to post it. And mm -hmm. I'm one of these days, it's I'm going to get back on there. One of these days. So, but if it is racist, that's crazy. You guys need to reevaluate yourselves over there. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like we're helping you get viewers for your channel. You're welcome. Hello. Oh, child. Last time I said that, honey, they came from my black ass. I said, oh, listen. Right. I, I didn't say that. It was <laughs> 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 
It's just like, it's kind of exposure <laughs> for your series because, and I was looking at an interview that uh, Tao and Offroad did and they were very thankful that they have American fans when, when they thought international fans really only stretch to South America, like Brazil and stuff. So yeah, you have fans in the US also. We need to get on that banner where it says, this is the, the countries that were trending, US needs yeah. to be one of those people because- <laughs> You're getting on that banner. Well, <laughs> I think you were just like, <laughs> you're like, say no more. <laughs> it's, just cra- it's just crazy to me. But, I think um, Game Boys was the only series that really included their realities. Uh, Game Boys I love, I love them. Series. Yes. So I think that was the first time I'm like, oh, you know, I'm reacting. You're including me and your mm-hmm. project outside of this. Mm-hmm. Thank you because I put in hours. Of course, y'all put in money and hours, but thank you for just including us because we are a big part of your show. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Lord, mm-hmm. the little music video was cute, but just the least you could have did was, Lord, you didn't have to pay us. Just acknowledge mm-hmm. our existence. Literally. Yeah. Enjoy. What, a, what a great team the, the yeah. IGA First yeah. Company is. I think I would always yeah. speak their praises. Always. Because oh, yeah. they even put so. everybody that reacted in their like book. They put our names put, in their book. Yeah. So... <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Hold on. What the? Hold on. 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 I was in the Philippines back in 2020, 2022, right? And I met um, Percy and I told him, listen, I've been really wanting this book and it's been so hard to get. Mm -hmm. Do you have extras? He said, yeah, sure. I'm like, okay, can I get two? (laughs) So he gave me one. And then when I came back, I gave the other one to Jordi. Yep. These are all our names, like right here at the bottom. But where my name Mm -hmm. is? Oh, my name. (laughs) <laughs> or was this I printed was before I became part of the Game Boys universe? Like, what, when was this yeah. printed? This I came out, I think, yet. after season one is when they did yeah. this. Was that before the second Game Boys Day Bef- yeah. music video? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, nah, mm-hmm. I, wasn't there, man. I ain't in that book. I am. He said, I ain't here. What's okay? I was, I was in. Not my day. I was in Rainbow Prince. It's fine. Yes, <laughs> my God. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. Which was really cool, by the way. Because now I realize where I've seen you before. Because I reacted to it. I'm like, hold on. Back when I was sporting my platinum blonde back in the Show day. Sure was. <laughs> <laughs> These roots can't yeah. handle that anymore, though. But, okay. but no, you're, they really just made a, a part of their like ecosystem, which oh, was really, really that. cool. It's really, really, nice. really, really cool. So, Jim and TV, where you at, baby? Mm. Right. I, it's, so, <laughs> one of good, kind of good, with this, going back to VL, one of the new things that I, I don't know if it's a really good thing, but one of these tropes is like, especially having that character who is kind of looking at the shift couple and it's like it's like they're like ooh, and like i feel like they're a stand-in for the audience member i think also if they had maybe a reactor or somebody like that Mm -hmm. to be another stand-in and to Mm -hmm. it's almost like a homage to the audience like Mm -hmm. we see you we 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 see y'all out there i mean we 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 see that you're looking at our ships and thank you because Mm -hmm. you're watching this we want to include you in some way or here's some avatar on screen that you can be looking at that so i mean they're starting to do that with there's always like this side character usually a woman who's looking at the the main ship and just oh they're together um like in um perfect propose and and all these other kind of um series that 
there that's happening so one day i want to see like reactors like you know watching um <laughs> yeah or stuff like that that'd be really cool that'd be so great just have a little walk on real quick i'm like <laughs> I'm dreaming about it. I'm, I'm, say, I'm gonna go over to the Philippines just, or Thailand. And uh, one of the directors is just gonna see me walking down the street mm, like tell for a hand. Come on, just it. it didn't go happen, but I can dream. No, <laughs> no, it's, never it's, know. It's, that'll be so cool though. You know, be great. I don't know if Spirit know. goes to Thailand though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know what you could. <laughs> <laughs> they, dude, it's probably hey. like a boat, though. It's not. Like a boat. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna get all the way there, <laughs> right? You gotta walk. They'll drop you off at the. They'll drop you off at the next wave. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Dr. Bob, where am I, Canada? <laughs> <laughs> that's <funny. sighs> Well, that's that'd be great. Um, even if they even say how they how how we are now. They have five reactors hop on a Zoom call and say, oh, can you react to this episode or the first episode for our company? Do that. Hello. I would right. love to acknowledge that we are pushing your show with you. Hello. You're mm-hmm. welcome. Somebody. Back in the day, because they, they used to do that some places. Or some people used to do that. But you don't really see them doing that as much anymore. So. And there's no so many BLs right now. You would think. <laughs> Yeah, Chad, so, 2024 just started. Wait, for get a good 10,000 by the end of the year, <sighs> right? And no um, money, <laughs> even before in BLs, there used to be like the main characters watching BLs. So, if you get a main character yeah. watching reactor <laughs> to another BL, there mm-hmm. you go, <laughs> that'll be fun. I'll be giving really y'all movie. ideas. Whoever's like the writer, <laughs> we're watching. We're giving you ideas. Yes. You don't even have to think of anything. Just do it. Right. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's just a future dream of mine to be able to talk to these actors um, and just pick their brains of what it was like to just, you know, done it before, but just like never been able to really speak to anyone from Thailand, you know, just to talk about the shows and stuff like that. So. Yeah. One day soon, though. I have hope. Claim it. We yes. Manifest. We manifest and up in here. Grab it. I, I can do it. I see that. others doing it. I can do it too. Of course. I just hope I have. I have to have some sense. Because depending on the actor, <laughs> come correct. Yeah. <laughs> if it's my alcohol Bible just a tour, I'm not gonna have no self control. So please don't let it be that. <laughs> oh, you are really so sweet. <laughs> If any had just a tour, open his mouth to sing. I am going to act so American. In America. <laughs> Lord Jesus. No, I, I, I've run out of tea like 45 minutes ago. I just keep picking this up to sip. Nah. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, before we wrap this up, because oh, I know. No. I mean, I'm having a good time, but I know Shaggy got places he gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> he got to go. Actually, uh, to, be, to be honest with you, we could just see where this goes because I can go. We can end it. We can end it. We can end it. We can end it. Because I got my plan. Tito, I gotta I watch. I, I gotta right. go watch. Got... Stay still. I gotta. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we... I do have somewhere to be so... right. 100%. So that I gotta tune in for Sean's 15th day of his two hour stream. I'm just like, <laughs> that boy going strong. I'm so proud. His oh. chat going off. Jesus. You know? Topher needs to watch these shows so I can get off of his neck about <laughs> and like keep telling people like these shows around him because I want to cyber bully him into watching these exactly. cyber bully. <laughs> Slide the DMs. Can you tell Topher? <laughs> I am a victim of Regina George. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm doing this in my little planitos plantains on my channel. <laughs> plantains. <laughs> That's not my plantains. <laughs> my plantains. Oh I'm doing this on my channel because, uh, yes, hallelujah. Well, is there anything else any of you would like to say to the people about your blackness before I let you go? My black is beautiful. 
Who's who do who do that? Is that essence? My black is beautiful. <laughs> what about y'all? It's just just for me. I'm just honest. Is stressful tension frustrating beautiful wonderful <laughs> like it is just like something like i mm-hmm. like if i die today and i don't want to but <laughs> um i still want to come back black or like mm-hmm. maybe somewhere else in the diaspora or whatever but like it is because it also allows me to see because I'm marginalized, it also and also by race and gender and all this other kind of stuff. It allows me to be compassionate to other people who are marginalized. So, in my talk about okay, you know, different <laughs> colorism and stuff like that, it, other, like we said, other people in here, and it allows me. I have some sort of compassion. Now, don't get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move furniture, <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it, it is, I do have grace and it is, it is, it is this mixture of everything is beautiful. Mm-hmm. I, I, it's, so it's, it may not be the best, but I wouldn't change it for anything. Of course. So, sure. so sure. that's all I, I would say. I'll say my black is powerful because I think as a community, there's a lot, there's a lot that we take in. And then there's also a lot that we give, Mm. especially to people outside of our communities. And it is a drain. It is, it takes our life, but somehow we still manage to just radiate beauty and radiate power and radiate like dc said compassion for others and i think you know not enough people see that but it's okay because we're going to continue to radiate it and one day people will see that we are not a stereotype Mm. that we are more and yeah i love that Hmm. Going off of the my black is thing, my black is king. (laughs) You know, and um, it's just being aware of your blackness, whether it be dark skin, light skin, you know, beige, fluorescent Mm -hmm. beige. It kind of is what it is. You have to understand who the fluorescent person. (laughs) I'm sorry, the fluorescent beige. (laughs) Drake. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, Drake? Oh no! Ooh, so we're back up on the mic. That's not my. Are you all in my the hairs in the back? You of my right. Right. All the way down. You sneak I'm just trying to get Drake's the, attention from the, from the <laughs> humble stuff there. But yeah, it's just it's just owning your power and not really letting anybody kind of take that from you, especially in this space mm-hmm. that we're in. And just realizing who you are as a person and just mm-hmm. loving that and all that it is. So stand in your power, stand in your light, children. Mm-hmm. I love yeah. that. Yes, mother. Yes. And that's on Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> Precious. That's what I said. No, you see what I said in the content chat? Mm-hmm. Uh, that would be the role I want to play. Yes. Y'all come to me for the advice. And I take it, but then when I gotta do with love, I'm shit. So, <laughs> so that's that's what I meant by that. I'll give you all the advice in the world. Absolutely. That's um, right. I just want to say one of my favorite sounds in the world are black people laughing. <laughs> it is just, it is just yeah. nothing. It just we laugh in such a yes. loud <laughs> and funny That's and right. boisterous yes. and like it's it's not like <laughs> it's like <laughs> from the soul. soul. Yes, it's yes. like it's like if you, you, you laugh. It's funny. Yeah. It's funny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm, I enjoy this. Oh my god. 
Because I enjoyed this too. This I want to thank all of you guys for joining us here today on the Drama Llama channel for this Brilliant. Black Avengers assembling to talk about blackness and BL, the BL and BL, black love and boys love. And I, I am, I am just so happy that we could do this. And hopefully next time we will have even more. Because honestly, when I had this idea a couple weeks ago, um, it was because I was doing the content creator chats, and I was like, damn, I didn't realize, like. I knew, obviously, because I followed everyone, that like how many like black content creators I had in the BL space. But like, it wasn't until I was like doing back to back to back, and I'm like, "Damn, we are here representing." Hold on, hold right. on, wait a minute. So, hopefully, next time we do this little get together, we will have even more representation. I want to yes. see this screen filled. I want to like, <laughs> play tic tac toe on this screen. <laughs> So that means you're gonna, bring, you're gonna bring the chicken, I'll bring the potato salad. Mm. And <laughs> no raisins. No, no, no. The question is who gonna bring the macaroni? The macaroni and cheese. Oh, I, I got you. Well, some of that's macaroni. I'll, I'll, I'll I'm, a, I'm a I'm a cash app you. I'll bring you some curry goat or something, some oxtails. Wow. Oh, we got money. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I just had was buying. I just said I was bringing it. <laughs> I got ways. So yeah, like, don't like, come in like, hurry up and eat this. It got to destroy the evidence. What? <laughs> Be like, mom and dad, you want to spend the weekend this weekend, right? Okay. <laughs> Here's some things you can pick up on the way. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> But this is also a way for me to know more people because I, I've never seen Malika anywhere. Actually, I think you know, did not tell a lie. I think I have. You were in the Game Boys music video. Tell you, totes. Yeah, I think I saw you, but I've never seen DC like that anywhere in this no, thing. So yeah. this is nice to get to know other people because I'm so like, uh, leave me alone. But you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Well, y'all, I'll be under y'all comment sections. Uh, that'd be me. <laughs> DC won't see it. So. I won't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I won't. I, I just, uh, like. <laughs> but I'll be honest. I'm <laughs> <laughs> but yes thank you all for joining me everyone's links to all their social media will be down in the description make sure you follow them on the youtubes instagram the patreons the twitters the x's the tiktoks the twitches the, the whatever it'll all be down in the description and make sure you follow drama on i'm assuming you are otherwise you would be watching this video but if you're not just by habit stance go ahead give us a little follow and go ahead. we will see y'all in the next one yeah. Dang. <laughs> <laughs>